ESPN's NCAA Basketball, brought to you by Isuzu, makers of incredible four-wheel drives. By Discus Athletic Activewear, Discus Athletic, the way America plays. And by Bud Light. If you want great taste that won't fill you up and never let you down, make it a Bud Light. Welcome back to Cole Fieldhouse, College Park, Maryland. Now for the Discus Athletics starting lineup. First for the Cavaliers of Virginia under Jeff Jones. Harold Dean in his last 12 games, he's had a terrific assistant turnover ratio, two and a half to one. He'll need it tonight against pressure. For Maryland under Gary Williams, Johnny Rhodes, Maryland's assist leader. He is number one in steals from the Atlantic Coast Conference, nearly three swipes a ball game. Critical game for both ball clubs. Maryland tied for the lead. Virginia just one game behind. And Dwayne Simpkins controls for the Turks. Corey Alexander against Simpkins. Man to man. Simpkins takes him into the hole. Misses. But Joe Smith gets to follow. Anytime you get dribble penetration, guys are scrambling to get to the ball. Smith able to get to the offensive rebounding lane. Jamal Robinson, number 13, has played so much better in the last three ball games. He appeared lost early in the season. Corey Alexander with the, the block may have gotten away with the goal 10, but the block goes to Smith back the other way. Rhodes with a miss. Tip won't go. Smith got it again. Two straight, or Keith Booth got that one. Two straight possessions. Tipkin follows for Maryland. They really want to push the tempo. Every opportunity Maryland gets, they're going to push the ball up the court. And when you get dribble penetration, again, offensive rebound in lanes of bound. Chris Alexander had it knocked off, but they got it back. Junior Burrow will draw the blocking foul. Jeff Jones in his short career, 6-3 and three against the Turks. He's won 92 games in less than five full seasons. Only one year failed to win 20. He'll get his 20 this year. One of the outstanding coaches in the country, and you like to tag him as one of the outstanding young coaches. Scratch that young leg. Ahead to Rhodes after the steal. 6-0. Mike, everything at the goal. Talking to Jeff Jones, he said we need to handle pressure and we must rebound the basketball in addition to being physical. So far, no board work at their defensive end. We already talked about Virginia holding opponents to 38%, but on layups, we usually get 100. <laughs> Robinson with an air ball, both with a rebound. Maryland off to a hot start. Smith, great catch just to save it. Simpkins, too strong. Smith with a great hands inside. Blocked by Alexander. Gets it back out. Well, you've seen two air balls, one by Jamal Robinson and a brick by Simpkins. These guys are juiced up, Mike. Wound just a little tight for the first two minutes. Simpkins after good ball movement just beat the shot clock but in and out quickly down court the Cavaliers would like to push it but they don't want to get into a full out running You're exactly right they want to be selective and when they run and when they don't Junior Burrow blocked by Smith that wasn't even close Junior Burrow too casual in that shot attempt I mean, Smith has the wingspan of a condor, and if he's within five feet of you, he can get to your shot. Ball fakes are important. Joe Smith already has two blocks. He's fourth in the ACC in that category. Junior Burrow gets the roll in Virginia on the board. Mike, you love to see that. A guy gets his shot sent in reverse, and then right away comes right back at his defender. X-ray hip. Spins out on Burrow with another rebound. Boy, who picked that ball out, Mike? That one is worn out. Isn't it, I mean, though? it's not even an orange. I can't even use the orange <laughs> line on that ball. Jump hook. Chris Alexander rarely takes a shot. They'd like to force Smith to play some defense. Oh, Simpkins all the way. He had it blocked. Dean back the other way. Tries a prayer. And three turps are right there. Ahead to Simpkins. Alexander. To two fireworks of plenty in three minutes and 20 seconds. That guys came to play, didn't they? Oh, yes, they did. Keep your head up, folks. 
No popcorn tonight. Maryland six points off the break. Burrow, turn around, jumper over Smith. Using that body, he felt Smith spun right against him and away from him at the same time. Sweet move by Junior Burrow. Junior has four. He's the second leading scorer on this club, averaging 16 8. 8 to 4, Maryland early, first half. Simpsons goes low to Smith, moving on Alexander. Joe Smith has four, and it's ten to four. Excellent defense. Here come the Terps on the run. Hit. Nice pass to Smith. Joe Smith, don't show us everything before the first TV break. That baseline move, he had no room. And then he kind of clutched that one, a la George McGinnis of old. He has six, and Maryland leads by eight. Dish down, and here's the foul as he's trying to stop the layup. Chris Alexander was wide open. Take a look at this shoehorn move along the baseline. Alexander anticipates the drive, but Smith somehow extends back and is able to use the window. And then this time, just manufacturing the shot, hanging all one handed. That is pure beauty there. Keith Booth picked up his second personal foul, and Mario Lucas will check in for the first time. He's a junior from Memphis, Tennessee. And Chris Alexander has only been to the free throw line 16 times. And for Virginia, that's been good because he doesn't look at all comfortable there. No, he kind of shot put it that one up. 43% free throw shooter on the season. Got the second one. 12-5 as Maryland at home off to the hot start. Back in a moment. You ready? Yep. <laughs> What's this? We're playing on clay. Right back. <laughs> it's mixed doubles. Oh. Outdoor court. Is active wear becoming too specialized for you? Try discus athletic. Heavyweight sweats and tees. Just change your clothes once to Discus Athletic, the way America plays. Every year, the people of North Africa bear witness to the most grueling test of man and machine, the Paradikar Rally. <laughs> Last year, we took first place in the marathon class. <laughs> and what we learned, we put into this year's model. <laughs> the differences are subtle, but if you look closely, <laughs> We think you'll notice. Introducing the Trooper Limited from Isuzu. Time to wash up. Isn't it just like Delta to design a stylish faucet that's practical too? Give me that. So it's long enough to reach today's double. <laughs> and even triple sinks. Delta, the way water is brought to life. Need a towel? Maryland off and running quickly. They lead by seven in large part because of the play of Joe Smith. Good ball reversal here. And anytime Maryland reverses the ball, this is where Joe Smith is going to go right to the block. Then a good quick move, but Alexander, that's pretty good defense, folks. That's just a wonderful individual move by Smith. Boy, and you look, yeah, boy, 31%, Mike, in his last, well, last year in three games, and so far off to the perfect start. Hit three for three tonight. Maryland shooting 50%, and Joe Smith has six of the 12. Virginia hitting only two of seven. Barnes and Williford are in for Jeff Jones as he goes to his the senior part of his bench very early. X-ray hip with a three. Missed. Joe Smith kept it alive and got it. I told him before the game, I just love the way he plays. No hot dog, no wolfing. You just go out and play. He's got a wash and wear game, low maintenance and very efficient. He also can give you a little flavor on occasion, too. Smith top of the circle. Shot clock at 15. Rhodes really forced that one up, turns into an air ball. 
didn't Harold, have a shot and took it anyway. Exactly. Harold Dean did a nice job keeping his feet and going chest to chest against Rhodes that time. Dean outside. Williford with a bad pass to Barnes. Virginia having problems handling the basketball. And there's the jumper by Mario Loker. He can shoot it at 6'8", 233. He was a perimeter player in high school. Gary Williams always tells him, I know you can shoot it. Show me a rebound. <laughs> Team five. Harold Dean left alone. That's a mistake. Yeah, he can really stroke it from behind the arc. Virginia, a superb three-point shooting club. Lucas tries to answer at the other end, came up short. A little quick. Yeah, you're right, Virginia, 40% three-point field goal shooting in conference play. DJ. Dean looking for Burrow and has him. Double pump with the left hand in. <laughs> We've seen some pretty good moves inside at both ends. Junior Burrow, three out of four from the floor. The lead is down to four. And I think the word you used on the last possession was perfect. Quick for Merrill. Smith, nice fake, through the foul. If you want to be effective scoring in the paint, you must be able to use both hands. Take a look at Junior Burrow. Just eclipses Mario Lucas inside. Keeps that body on him. Ball faking and goes to the left hand. You could almost see Mario on his right hand. Exactly. First three years, Junior Burrow really struggled with his field goal shooting. Jeff Jones said he had to be more efficient. He had to be over 50% this year, and he's certainly done it. The numbers uh, reflect his scoring average going up. And I think some of that is attributed to, obviously, the growth of Harold Dean yes. as a player and then the return of Corey Alexander. Absolutely. Often, it's the player that misses the shot that gets blamed. Exactly. But when you give the guy the ball in the wrong place at the wrong time, it's your fault, not his. Preach to me, Mike. <laughs> Joe Smith hits the free throw, 15-10. Smith already has seven points, three rebounds, two blocks, and a steal. We're 649 into the game. Stuffing the stat sheet. Gets a well-deserved breather. Elliott is in for the first time. Rodney, a freshman out of Baltimore. Gary Williams said that he was going to try to play him more, especially in the first half, because he played well for him. And that's the freshman, Curtis Staples, who can drain him from 25. And he comes into the gym shooting. 15-13. You know, Virginia never out of a game because of their great defensive work and also their explosiveness from behind the three-point line. And the defense under Jeff Jones has been stifling. What has changed it is the three-point shoot. Rhodes Johnny Rhodes is a freshman shot 30% from long range. This year he's shooting 30%. Last year as a sophomore, he was over 40. They'd love for him to regain that touch. Nearly an over and back. As Dean never quite got it across to begin with. Double team as they try to trap. Barnes to Williford. Junior Paul oh, no. with the JB! Oh, oh. That was that sweet. Junior Burrow, who has been a second-half player all year, has eight in the first half. And two left-handed hooks, Mike. He's I haven't seen that sharp. part of his game. He has been sharp. And as we saw in the last replay, what an advantage it is because the defense can't anticipate. Exactly. Bristol, nice head fake to get three in the lane and missed the shot. Staples who has shot far more three-point shots than he has two-point shots. He just lived off of that. In conference play, 80% of his made field goals are three. Harold Dean with a fall-away baseline jumper. The lead is down to one, and they're taking the crowd out of it. One of the things about Virginia's guards, they're very physical. I mean, Dean and Alexander, they're well put together, and they're tough-minded. It'll be interesting to see if they're able to wear down the backcourt guys of Maryland, particularly Dwayne Simpkins and Bristol when he's on the floor. Boy, Clark, one other thing is very obvious. When Joe Smith sits down, Maryland becomes almost a totally perimeter club. 
Dean with a pull-up jumper. Doesn't get the bounce, but lost out of bounds to the Cavaliers. We've got a timeout, 10.37 to go first half. Maryland 18, Virginia 17. Every year, the people of North Africa bear witness to the most grueling test of man and machine. The Para Dakar Rally. <laughs> Last year, we took first place in the marathon class. <laughs> and what we learned, we put into this year's model. Just second moves. The differences are subtle, but if you look closely, <laughs> we think you'll notice. <laughs> Introducing the Trooper Limited from Isuzu. I bought my car new in 1970. I drove a hockey team 190 mile round trip three times a week. Haviland Formula 3 from Texaco. I took good care of it. And when I reached 300,000, I thought, I've got to be a pretty good car. No other leading motor oil offers more heat protection to help your car run better, last longer. At 600,000, I thought, maybe it could be the Haviland. Haviland Formula 3. Why add just any motor oil? Add more life to your car. We asked some of the hottest guys in town to trade their deodorant for Degree deodorant. Let's give it a shot. As your body heat rises, only Degree releases extra protection against odor. I'm going to stick to Degree. Stuff works. Degree deodorant for a higher degree of protection. Larry's afraid of anything new. But Burger King's got this new bacon cheddar double cheeseburger. Two burgers with melted cheddar, sizzling bacon, fries, and a drink. All for $2.99. So he tries it. The next day, he's got his hair parted on the other side. Burger King, get your burgers worth... Virginia's been on a 12-4 run and closed within one of the University of Maryland. 10.37 to go first half. Look at the improvement, Clark, in the Maryland starters over last year, their field goal percentage. There are a number of reasons for that improvement. One, I think they're working on their shooting more, but also they're a little better in judging shots. They're selective in the kinds of shots they're taking. I talked to Gary Williams, particularly about x ray hip as we look at Joe Smith. And he said, X-Ray is taking far fewer poor shots. And with that, you have a chance to improve your percentage. The numbers on Joe Smith. He's back in the ballgame after a breather. Of course, you have to keep in mind that Hip, Simpkins, and Rhodes are juniors. Keith Booth and Joe Smith are sophomores. Right. Right. And they've gotten better every year, which has got to scare the rest of the ACC to death. Nolan is in for the first time for Virginia. He's a 6'8 freshman out of Baltimore. As talk, both teams have gone extensively to their bench. I talked to Junior Burrow about Nolan. He said he's kind of the, he's a guy that plays bigger than he is. He can really do some things inside, especially offensively. Williford, nice kick back outside the Staples, but he couldn't hit the wide open jump. He doesn't miss many of them. Uh, yeah. Control by Booth. This is excellent transition basketball. They just beat the Cavaliers down the court by way of the pass. See, there was a lead pass to Hip, and then he's got his head up and right away catches Nolan napping, and Booth able to kind of grunt and groan that one in the hole. Nolan picks his first up, two team fouls now. And Booth completes the three-point play. Maryland goes back up by four. Full court pressure. Again, you really need to attack this for good medium range. And Wilford may have had it partially blocked, but the follow is good by Nolan. This may be the deepest Virginia team I can ever remember. Excellent point, Mike. And they've got guys coming off the bench along the front line and in the backcourt that can make a difference. With the zone action now. Duke bothered Maryland with the zone. Disrupted their rhythm a little bit. The alley -oop. And the foul, I believe, is going to be on X-ray hip coming over the back. That Virginia bench has come through with nearly 25 points and 16 and a half rebounds. When you get 30% off your bench, you got a pretty good club. Exactly. You need to utilize that, and you can typically wear down some of the leaner teams that you play against. Especially as physical as Virginia tries to make. Exactly. Smith 
will pick up his first. Coming up later tonight, Villanova, number 18 in the country this week's poll against St. John's, the team that's had a disappointing first half of the year. And that's a 9 o'clock start tonight on ESPN. Hope you'll stay with us for that one. St. John's coming off that impressive win over the weekend against Michigan in Ann Arbor. Well, that Vill was. Yeah, and Villanova sports one of the best two guards in all of the land. Kerry Corey Alexander finally gets off the mark, hits his jumper. We're tied at 21. Isn't it funny? You feel like Maryland has really controlled this yeah. game, and it's tied. Absolutely. Partly because of the three-point shot, Mike. Joe Smith won't go Pearl with a rebound. Corey Alexander for three. Got it. Watch out. I mean, with the three shooters they have, they can catch fire in a hurry. Virginia has hit three of four from three-point range. They're back into the zone. Trying to keep it outside. Smith double team will draw the foul. Staples, 43% from long range. He shot better than that as a prep star. And then you go to Harold Dean, who had to play the point a lot last year. He's shooting 37%. That's an excellent percentage. And then the return of Corey Alexander from the broken ankle. He's only hitting 35%. He's the poor shooter in the group. <laughs> That's a heck of a triumvirate when you talk about three-point shooting. As you look at Curtis Staples and Corey Alexander. Smith hits the free throw. He's also an excellent free throw shooter, 75 percent. And look at Dean. See, he's got those nice guns on him, Mike. He's got those nice biceps. Corey Alexander has the same. And they're physical. I mean, they can get their shot when they need to because they're good with the ball, and they can create space for themselves by bumping defenders off of them. Full court pressure knocked away. Of course, those don't come naturally, folks. you got to work on No, no, those. yeah, you have to certainly do a little exerting yourself in the weight room there. The ones I have came naturally. <laughs> the small ones. 24-23, Virginia by a point. Chris Alexander with a good screen. Corey Alexander can't take advantage of it. Staples does not look like a freshman. He's a very mature player. Burrow would like to get the ball against Booth. Shot by 13. What? Still loose. Simpkins down on the floor. Still loose. Burrow can't control. It. Some sequence all started by Johnny Rose. Mike, you talk about Johnny Rhodes, and I really think he's one of the best all-around two guards in the country. He boards, he can shoot it, he defends, he comes up with steals, and he knows how to play. He gives you everything you want in a basketball player in any position. Jamal Robinson gets it low to Pearl. He's the roll on this one. Smith with a rebound. Quick outlet, his fifth rebound. Hit for three. Corey Alexander with a rebound. 7.09 to go first half. Those are the kinds of shots that have been falling for X3 Hip. Transition threes, unable to get the stroke going so far this half. Virginia does not have a fast break point in this game. Maryland has 15. Staples buries another three. You know how you negate fast break points against you? Three point shots. 27-25, Virginia. Cavaliers hit it four of six from three-point range. Nice ball movement, jumper by Rose. Both of these teams very well coached. You can see it in their offense. Alexander to have the ball right now. Simpson's trying to deny it. Wow. Nice touch. He's bringing it. See, he's got three inches on Keith Booth, and if he catches it before help can come, he can get any shot he wants. Junior with 10 points, five out of seven from the floor. 
That's something you couldn't always say during his career. That's right. But again, with the outside shooting of Alexander, Staples, and Dean, he gets a lot, he gets more better looks at the goal inside. Booth has dared to take the shot, finally did. Simpkins knocked it out of bounds. We've got a timeout, 540 left first half. Virginia has come from behind to take the lead over Maryland by one. VH1 and the stars are going to rock the Rockies, and we want to take you and a guest with us. Win a trip to VH1 Celebrity Ski for Cystic Fibrosis. It's a weekend of music and great winter fun, where you'll chill with the famous and attend an exclusive VH1 concert that's as cool as the great outdoors. Here's where to enter the sweepstakes that could send you skiing with the stars. It's all courtesy of your cable system and the channel where music comes first, VH1. It's not a feud. It's just a friendly rivalry that transcends all description. Join Dick Vitale for North Carolina versus Duke on ESPN2. Contact your cable company today. Want the scoop on hoops, NBA, and college scores and details? Get them whenever you want them on ESPN Net. Up to the minute score, stats, inside info, pro transactions, all at the touch of a button. Call 1 800 ESPN Pro to subscribe. Get connected with ESPN Net on Prodigy. In the Big East tonight, Providence hosting Seton Hall and the Friars off and running. The Spaniard, Borge Larragon. Nice little delivery here. Austin Crozier with the finish, an 8-0 Providence run. They lead by eight. Back to the ACC. All right, thank you, Chris. Virginia leading by one. And we're going to show you Maryland doing a nice job. You see Johnny Rhodes highlighted, but watch Joe Smith in the right middle of your screen. He's going to catch it. Actually, Keith Booth, I'm sorry. He catches it right at the elbow and a good recognition to get it to the opposite side in a hurry. And Johnny Rhodes had all day to stroke that one. The kind of thing that comes from practice and repetition and awareness. Well, we talked about Johnny Rhodes and his versatility. Look at that. The only player in ACC history to post those kinds of numbers. It's 29-28. Virginia by one. Kovarik is in for the first time for Maryland, so Gary Williams has gone 10 players deep. Gary Barnes, Smith with another rebound. Six on the night for the All-Americans. Virginia content to stay in this zone. And here's a reaching foul call on Jamal Robinson. That'll be his first. Sophomore from Jamaica, New York. Jeff Jones, a great point guard in his own right. When he left Virginia, he held all the school records. Spins out on him. Great assist man. I think John Crotty eventually broke all of his records. Right. Yeah, he was actually drafted by the Indiana Pacers the same year that I was. Back in 1983, Jeff Young. Had a pretty good rookie team. Ultimately didn't make the squad. Doing a great job as a coach. He is that. Ball is out to Virginia with 447 to go. Corey Alexander. Working against Matt Kavar. Three-second violation call against the Cavaliers. What a well-played game. Not too many uh, bad plays. Only six turnovers combined. Booth wheels into the lane. Nice shot. Good explosive dribble move. When you're in the post as an offensive player, you want to feel your defender, and Keith Booth did that time and was able to get right to the coal. Russell had it blocked. Great play by Smith. 
No hysterics. Didn't, didn't even look like he left his feet. Just concentrating on the ball. Timing. Oh, and rebounding sweet. and shot blocking. Timing is everything. Here he is keeping his eye on his man in the ball, ready to help, and then just makes a good, strong play. Blocked three shots tonight. Doesn't try to make it look hard, just makes the play as easy as it can be. Just plays. He's special. He certainly is. Burrow. Junior has had a big night. Junior Burrow with a dozen points in the first half, six out of eight from the floor. Smith working outside, gets it down to Rose, trying to power his way up, got it back, and lost it. Good defense by Harold Dean. Corey Alexander, not a good pass, and Barnes couldn't hold it. Exactly. Corey a little upset with Barnes, but that was a tough pass. 31-30, Virginia by one, 335 to go in the half. It's double wishbone suspension, elevates your feel of the road. Its multi-valve engine and speed-sensitive steering elevate your sense of control. While its looks, well, they will elevate your mood. Introducing the all-new Dodge Avenger. It's more than just a car. It's an elevator. When young policyholders come to me, I look at them and think, boy, that was me 15 years ago. I remember very well how quickly things changed for Debbie and me. Marriage, children, our first house. It's exactly why State Farm's family insurance checkups are such a good idea. Your agent helps you put it all in perspective so you can make the right decisions. The way you were five years ago is not the way you are today. It's comforting to me when I can say to my policyholders, hey, I've been there. State Farm is there. Your doctor said, what? Listen, if you're a woman and you get heartburn, should you take these, which have aluminum and magnesium, or should you take Tums Ultra with calcium? A dose of Mylanta regular strength has this much neutralizing power. Regular Maalox, this much. But Tums Ultra has more neutralizing power. And gives you calcium. Something your body needs anyway. If you're not sure, ask your doctor. Three thirty-five to go, first half. Mike Patrick Clark Kellogg with you from Maryland, where the Terps trail the Cavaliers thirty-one to thirty. How about the big men? We've been seeing Joe Smith tonight. How about some of the other guys in this league? Boy, these three right here are really outstanding. I watched North Carolina and Wake Forest go at yes, it sir. on Saturday, and those two guys, Rasheed Wallace and Tim Duncan, put on an absolute show. These guys do it in a different way. Parks gets in and outside. Wallace and Duncan do a lot of their work in and around the goal. Field goal percentages. Look at the numbers on Smith. 9.6 rebounds, four block shots. We still have three and a half minutes to go in the half. Looks like it'll be career double double number 28 for Mr. Smith. X3 hip off to a very slow start after a career game of 21 against Duke the other day. He has been scoreless and missed that shot. He's gotten good looks too. Just a little strong. Maybe pressing just a little bit. Junior Pearl. Short on that one. Tried to go after the rebound. Knocked out of bounds out to the Terps. Things have idled down just a notch since that first TV break. <laughs> well, they, they couldn't have played that way an entire half. They'd all dropped. <laughs> Bar the sophomore out of Greensboro, North Carolina, getting some minutes here in the first half. Smith will try a three. Not that he can't do it all, is it? I asked him before the game, I said, where have you improved the most between this year and last? And he said, my perimeter shot. Point made right there. But he also said he's recognizing double teams a little better and pitching the ball out of that extra attention. The foul will be on Johnny Rhodes. I think this is a bad shot, though. You go out that far, it turned out to be a two. Go out another two yeah. inches. Yeah, good point, Mike. Sometimes when you wear a size 16, you forget where they are. <laughs> but it just shows you the overall ability that this young man has and why people are talking about him as potentially leaving Maryland at the end of this year as a sophomore. I Very think good. 
Monty Williams said, hey, if somebody offers him $30 million, what am I going to tell him? Yeah, he's a custom-made power forward in my mind. He's got range to go outside. He can put it on the floor, and he's going to get stronger. He's only a sophomore. He'll put the right kind of weight on the couple of years. Burrow stepped out of bounds. You'd like to see him come back, though. Oh, no just question to about see him. Play. No question about it. And I really think um, I was a guy that left school early, left after my junior year. Um, I thought it was a good decision for me, but it's a personal call. And most of the time, guys, if in fact they are ready, they're most ready after at least three years. Now, Joe Smith and some others may be an exception, but like you, I would love to see him. Offensive ah! by Lucas can't get it to fall. Good rebound by Williford. Burrow, and he'll draw the foul. The third annual Aspie Awards, hosted by John Goodman. Coming up Monday, February the 13th, presented by General Motors and MasterCard. You'll see the Performer of the Year in a variety of sports, male and female athlete of the year, the play of the year selected, of course, by the viewers. That's all Monday, February 13th, 9 o'clock start in the East. Hope you'll join us for that. Junior Burrow, 12 points, four rebounds. He's hit six out of nine from the floor. And missed that free throw badly. And he's in the top ten. Thank you for the sign. We don't have to do our own promos. <laughs> yeah, did you get the number right? Burrow hits the second one. We're tied again at 32, two minutes to go in the first half. Well, you look at the way Junior Burrow is playing tonight, and you can almost feel that he's relieved that he doesn't have to carry the same kind of burden he did last year without Corey Alexander in the lineup. I mean, he's playing in a very relaxed, aggressive mode. Whistle away from the ball and a hold. You better be strong coming across the lane. Bang! Whoa. Norman Nolan with a little upper body shiver applied to Joe Smith. See what's different. Guards can't even hand check anymore, but uh, the, oh, big the big guys fellas can still, can still throw, throw that wood around. Yeah. That's right. Turnover ahead to Corey Alexander and Simpkins from behind knocked it away. Alexander got too casual there, Mike. He didn't realize that Simpkins was behind him, and he didn't go strong enough to the goal. I think he put it in the home run trot two steps too soon. Better know where Simpkins is every second of the time. That would have been Virginia's first fast break bucket. And Maryland scored 15 points on the run. But you look at these teams, you really don't expect Virginia to score a bunch of fast break points. That's more Maryland's game. Right now, both teams playing to their strengths. At some point, somebody's going to have to resist the other squad. Joe Smith spending a lot of time outside in the last few sequences. Shot clock at nine. It's going to be up to Simpkins. That's Corey Alexander. Excellent defense, but a better shot. Simpkins has four. Maryland's lead is two. Nice junior up. double team dishes it off, and the layup by Nolan. Hey, Junior wants us to put him on that panel with the best big man in the ACC. <laughs> He's getting it tonight. Man. Tied at 34. There were times in his career he would not have looked for a cutter. He was going to shoot it. But he did it there, and an excellent play for the Cavaliers. Well, he knows he's going to get good, high-quality looks on a regular basis now. Hip misses it. Smith, another rebound. Of course, that one up and down hard. Booth trying to keep it alive. Booth steals it, knocked it out of bounds after the Cavaliers. X-ray hip 0 for 6 from the floor. If you're wondering about that name, one look at his dad, you'd understand. He's 75% Cherokee Indian. That's an Indian name, X-ray. means a little brave. More like big brave now, isn't it? 6'8", <laughs> 205. He's tougher than he looks, too. He's mm -hmm. a thin, built young man, but he is tough inside. Some of the strongest guys you run into on a basketball court are the thinner guys. Wiry strength. Virginia playing for the last shot. 
Corey Alexander, good kick to Dean for three, partially blocked by Rhodes, and Smith has the rebound at the buzzer. Excellent half for both ball clubs. Junior Burrow, 13 points and four rebounds, keeping his club in it. Joe Smith with a huge night on the other end for the Terps, and Maryland had eight blocked shots in the first half. That's our first half story from Maryland. Let's check in with Chris Fowler. Chris? All right, guys, thank you. So it's even on halftime. Digger, you're surprised by one aspect of Maryland's strategy here. Yeah, Maryland's not pressing tonight. I think once Gary Williams gets that press going in the second half, they'll play more aggressive and get more confidence in their shooting. So we'll get word to Coach Williams that that's what he should do. Coming up, the ACC update. There are two other top 25 teams in the conference in action. We'll have scores and highlights, as well as a look at the best big man in the country and one man whose name is missing from the list. All that will be continuing the Delta Plus at halftime report. ESPN's NCAA Basketball, brought to you by McDonald's. What you want is what you get at McDonald's today. And by Visa, it's everywhere you want to be. Hello from Plank Road, where our man Paul has gotten lots of calls and letters asking, is ice beer really beer frozen like ice? Nope. Paul says that would be beer on a stick, not an ice beer. Ice House is ice beer. Ice brewed so there's never any watered down taste, just more of what you want in a beer. Ice brewed Ice House. It's not frozen, but you can sample a frosty cold one almost anywhere. Thanks and enjoy. Isn't it just like Delta? Let's make it really cool. To design a faucet <laughs> that's at both the height of style. Wow. Awesome. And practicality. Delta, the way water is brought to life. With Dodge Neon's dual airbags and side impact beams, the question isn't safety. With a Neon Sport Coupe's 150 peak horsepower engine and fully independent suspension, the question isn't performance. Two doors or not two doors, that is the question. Say hello to the other Dodge Neon, the Sport Coupe. An Automobile Magazine 1995 All-Star. Who cares? Come on. Etienne, fix everything! Etienne, Who's Etienne? He's a camel repairman. What? He's a mechanic. You can. Etienne! Hope he takes Etienne. Visa. Oh, he does. <laughs> Visa Gold can get you cash more places worldwide than any other card. Even American Express. Etienne, fix everything. Visa Gold. And welcome back to the Delta Fawcett Halftime Report. Maryland playing for an undisputed first place in the ACC, tied with Virginia at halftime. In the ACC, a couple of teams who are ranked and in the middle of the pack in the conference at this point are in action. Wake Forest visiting struggling NC State, a 16-8 lead for the Demon Deacons in the early going. And Georgia Tech, ranked number 21, trailing Clemson in the early going. We'll keep you posted on both of those ball games. Early going, number six, Kentucky hosting South Carolina. The Gamecocks have never won in Lexington. They trail by six points in the first half. Meanwhile, in the SEC, some sad news. If you followed the career of LSU's point guard, Randy Livingston, one of the great prep players in the last decade, played not a minute last season because of a knee injury. This season, he was leading the nation in assists until last night. Another knee injury to that right knee. This time, it's his kneecap. A diagnosis today, a fractured kneecap after surgeries. Doctors said that Livingston will be out for the remainder of the season. They do expect him to resume basketball next season, but a tough blow for Livingston and also a very severe blow for LSU's chances. In the Big East, Jonathan Haynes, the point guard for Villanova, will be lost for the remainder of the season. He had a screw inserted in his foot. Actually, he'll be out indefinitely, a chance he could return later on. He's been playing with that stress fracture in his foot up until this point. They finally had to put a screw in it. Now he's out for tonight's game against St. John's, the second game of our doubleheader. Villanova, a pleasant surprise in the conference. Can they carry on without Haynes? They'll visit the Garden. That's at 9 o'clock Eastern time. Highlights from tonight's game in the Big East.
Providence and Seton Hall. Pete Gill and his team is struggling. Jawan tucked the pass to Roger Ingram out of the field. Game tied in the early going. Providence, they can flush it too. Brosher with the dunk, 18-15. Friars went off on a run there. Brosher showing the dunk, showing the range. Nailing the three-pointer. Providence starts to pull away. Tony Brown, the strong move and the foul. 44-30, the lead is ballooned to 14 points now in the final minute of the first half. When we come back, Digger Phelps will join me. We'll talk about the best big men of the country and why this strange silhouette is not among them. That when we continue. This halftime report is presented by the Delta Faucet Company. Delta, the way water is brought to life. Hey, early again, huh, Frank? I don't say this to many people. But what we do, the job we do. Okay, guys, listen up. It's the most important job I can Tony, think of. You've got a flight control check. Lewis and Randall. I mean, Morris, there's no such two. thing as a B-plus mechanic on this airline. Let's do it. Let's go. Everybody knows their job. Everybody's responsible. Anybody, right down to the most junior mechanic, can keep an airplane in this hangar if there's the slightest hint of a problem. You might think, doing a job like this, day in, day out, it'd become routine. You know, just turning wrenches. But every now and then, I just go up and take a walk through the terminal. And right there, right in front of you, you see what's important. Connie Harper leads an active life. We're gonna have plenty of time for that. But after we do this, visiting old friends. The guy who sent me to prison. Settling old scores. Hi, Bob. What do you want? I'm gonna ruin you. Avoiding hitmen. I want him dead! And breaking the bank at a crooked casino. Yeah! Jack Scalia is. Are we done with this? Yes, we're done with this. It's time for that. Time for that. The Point Man. Check listings for time and channel in your area. Its multi-valve V6 should appeal to all you right brain types, while its large trunk should please those of you on the left. Its double wishbone suspension, right brain. Its split fold-down rear seat, left brain. Dual airbags, decidedly left. Great stereo, definitely right. If you think the new Dodge Avenger is for you, you're right. Or left. Welcome back to the Delta Fawcett Halftime Report. It is all even at Cole Fieldhouse, Virginia and Maryland. The Terrapins, as always, being carried by Joe Smith. 11 points to go along with four blocked shots in the first half. But Junior Burrow has been good for the Cavs. Smith, one of the big men among the 13 players nominated for the Player of the Year honor. Smith, Wallace, and Camby, all sophomores. Kurt Thomas, a tremendous senior season for TCU. Not on the list, Bryant Reeves. Digger, big country, not on the map. Why? I just don't get it. I just don't get it. Why can't he not be on that list? Well, we did our own search of big country. Let's take a look. Maybe the guy just can't, he can't score. He doesn't have any offensive moves. He doesn't have, he can't dunk. He just <laughs> has, uh, you know, back to the basket moves. Maybe it's his scoring. Whoops. 22, 23 points a game, second in a big hit. Well, how about um, percentage of shots? Maybe he doesn't take good field goal percentage shots. Gee, that was pretty close. <laughs> wow, 62%. He's second in Big 8. Maybe it's... I ah, can't rebound. I don't think the guy knows how to rebound. Uh, ooh, not bad there. Ooh, bothered the guy. Snagged that one down. Another power rebound. Snare it in there. Ooh, nine rebounds a game. Well, then it's got... He can't block shots. You know, big kid, big country. Maybe. Can't block shots. Whoops, there's one there. That's, that's major league. Good outlet pass. Inside, coming from behind. Another one. Come across the court. He's got the quickness to block the shots. Two a game. He's sixth in the big eight. I just don't get it. I really don't get why. And he stacks up very favorably with the statistics a year ago. Left off all of the international teams that toured. Maybe it's got to be the haircut. See, this doesn't look like a player. Could that <laughs> well, be? Well, let, let's go back to November and December. Here's what happened. You take a look at their schedule. They lose four games. Two in November, two in December. And here's what happened. Everybody forgot about big country Reeves. But understand something. When you take a look at those losses, they're not bad teams at the same time. I just think this kid right now, with those stats, 
as we look at him, when he comes back, he's got to be a high draft pick in the NBA franchise. He's got a chance, though, as Oklahoma State does, to redeem those early losses. Key conference games tonight, they face the Huskers. Two games remaining with Kansas and also Iowa State for Oklahoma State. Plus, Oklahoma State is in second place behind Kansas in a big eight. So this means now, hey, country is a franchise player. Hey, Oklahoma State's got a shot at the NCAA playoffs. He gets more exposure. It's history. In the Big Ten tonight, Illinois and Iowa, a lot of key games in the Big Ten where just about every team, perhaps except Michigan State and Purdue, on the bubble at this point for the NCAA tournament, and Michigan struggling, hosting Wisconsin this evening. We'll keep you posted on those games. Those games tip off a little bit later on. Other games tonight in the Mid-American Conference. A couple games underway. Eastern Michigan, the early lead on the Bobcats of Ohio U, and the Redskins, 7-1 in the conference, had the lead on the road. And it's Colgate and Fordham, 14-11. The Rams are down. Navy over undefeated Bucknell in the conference. More in a minute. One and the stars are going to rock the Rockies, and we want to take you and a guest with us. We're going to trip to VH1 Celebrity Ski for Cystic Fibrosis. It's a weekend of music and great winter fun, where you'll chill with the famous and attend an exclusive VH1 concert that's as cool as the great outdoors. Here's where to enter the sweepstakes that could send you skiing with the stars. It's all courtesy of your cable system and the channel where music comes first, VH1. by Evan Rood. Call Hartley Marine, your local Evan Rood dealer. Nine out of ten customers recommend Century 21 to their friends. Now what we have is a written handshake, and that's the seller service pledge. They promise that I'll do what I say I'm going to do. Century 21 sells more homes. Century 21, rated number one. It's Ace Dollar Day, where a little loose change can get you lots of great stuff, including things like this for just a dollar each. You'll find them all at Ace Dollar Days Now. Another chapter in the great history of Carolina against Duke. Desperation time for the Dukies at Cameron on the Deuce tomorrow at 9 o'clock Eastern time. Also a doubleheader on ESPN. In the ACC this evening on ESPN, it's Maryland getting the x ray hip to Keith Booth play. Time for Virginia. Second half coming up in a minute. Leave it to Delta to design a stylish and practical faucet that works with you in perfect harmony. No matter what the situation. Oh, honey, honey, honey. Party. Honey, though, I, I think I got this. Listen. Delta, the way water is brought to life. <laughs> the most interesting moment in the course of the praying mantis mating ritual occurs at the point in the proceedings when she, the female mantis, surprises the male and bites his head off. Unless, of course, he's quick enough to get away. The Mantis by Sheila. The all-new Subaru Legacy looks beautiful against a photographer's backdrop, but its true beauty is best seen against the elements. Subaru all-wheel drive is the ultimate safety feature. It reacts instantly, transferring power automatically from the wheels that slip to the wheels that grip. So you can safely weather even the worst of weather. The all-season, all-road, all-wheel drive Subaru Legacy. The beauty of all-wheel drive. Cold-filtered Miller Genuine Draft. The cold one. For those who've discovered its smooth draft taste, you know, 
I've been looking for that. The world is a very cool place. So get out of the old and get into the cold. ESPN's NCAA Basketball, brought to you by Subaru. Test drive an all-weather, all-road, all-wheel drive Subaru today. And by Burger King, where you can get your burger's worth. Teams are wrapping up the first half of the ACC slate this evening. Wake Forest starting a critical stretch of four straight road games. Leading in Raleigh by eight points in Georgia Tech. They've split with Clemson every year since 88. It's a one-point game. Back now to our game, Virginia and Maryland in the second half. Mike Clark. All right, Chris, thanks very much. And we are tied at 34 between Maryland and Virginia. We told you at the beginning of the telecast that people have had success against Joe Smith by trying to keep a body on him and being very physical with him. Virginia is as good as anybody in the country at being physical, and yet he's had a tremendous first half. Yeah, he had an answer for all the guys that defended him in that first half. Showed us his tremendous versatility doing work inside and outside. Joe Smith was outstanding. We'll take a look at the big fella. He's got the game face on. Inside here against Chris Alexander, the quick spin move, and then the extension on the finish. Then he took Yuri Barnes, took him outside. He's going to step out just about to the three-point line, just nudged it with his toe. That was a two-pointer. And then Norman Nolan came in and started banging him around, laying that wood on him. But still, Joe Smith had a very productive first half. First half statistics, Virginia shooting the ball very well. The free throw is not much uh, consequence. Virginia, four out of eight from three-point range. The rebound's tied. Look at the fast break points. 15-0. Exactly, but the three-point shot has certainly counteracted that. And Maryland got most of those fast break points early in that first half. Then the game settled down to a slower pace. Interesting graphic here. You take a look at who has guarded Joe Smith. Chris Alexander 10 times, and there's the breakdown. So Smith off to a great start, and Barnes, Nolan, and Alexander have been the ones defending. X3 hit, who hasn't hit a shot tonight, spins out with a long one. Down low, double pump in the lane. Four seconds, follow by Smith. Just the way the game started. <laughs> the total package. 13 points, nine rebounds, and half-court pressure by Maryland. Speaker Phelps made an interesting point at halftime, talked about Maryland maybe getting back into their full-court pressure to uptick the tempo a little bit. Let's see if, in fact, that pans out this half. Booth reached over, got a finger on it to keep it away from Burrow. Excellent rebounders, go and get it. Come to the right, Joe. Looks like Clark Kellogg. <laughs> Not bad. Robinson from outside, can't hit it. Smith with another rebound, his 10th of the game. Gary Williams waiting, go get him. Well, he never lacks for intensity and animation on that sideline. Dean nearly lost it, picked up by Alexander. Maryland coming out firing on all cylinders here. Robinson was open for a second, now drifts into the lane, lost the ball. And here's the foul as Corey Alexander hit by Simpkins, nearly got the steal. That's one on Dwayne Simpkins. Jason Williford in a minute and 45 seconds into the second half. 
Yeah, Jamal Robinson has really struggled, hasn't really found any rhythm. I really think it's critical for Virginia here in this stretch. You can tell Maryland really locked into trying to come out and take the game now. Virginia must be strong with the ball and hit some perimeter shots or aggressively attack the goal. Well, a back to Dean. Good head fake got it off and then a great pass for the layup. I'd say that's aggressively attacking the goal, wouldn't you? Yes, it is. Drive, draw, and drop a dime. Chris Alexander with his first field goal. We're tied again at 38. Fifth time this game has been tied, probably not the last. <laughs> Smith, they tried to double tear. Yeah, Joe. Smith, show me everything, Joe. Drop, step, jump, hook, tip, dunk. Joe Smith with 15 averages, 19-5. That's fifth in the ACC. Williford tried to get it to Burrow. Excellent interior defense by Maryland. Simpson says, give me the ball, let's set it up. Smith looks for hip, and Williford may have gotten away with a hold, and they throw it away. Gary Williams doesn't like that pass. Take a look at Joe Smith. Excellent control here. Again, he's able to feel Alexander. And look at the extension and the fingertip control. See, that's a shot that's almost impossible to block. When it comes time for the Sweet 16 this year, I would be amazed if both of these teams aren't there. They certainly got a good, you're right, Mike. They've got a great chance. A lot of basketball left, but they've got the pieces. Harold Dean trying to work himself free for a shot. Missed the shot. Rebound to Rose. And a ball out of, and the turnover will give it to Virginia. Yeah, I think it went off a Maryland player's foot. Joe Smith, career-wise against Virginia, has not liked to see the Cavaliers shooting just 30.9%. Tonight, he has done much, much better. And Virginia with an answer is Corey Alexander hits a baseline jump. Tied at 40. Well, I talked to Jeff Jones before the game at the shoot-around today, and I said, boy, you guys did a great job on Jeff Smith last year in all three meetings. He said, yeah, he's a lot better this year. <laughs> Coaches are never happy, are they? <laughs> yeah, but it's the natural maturation process a player goes through, and Joe Smith wants to be great. Both got a hand on the shot with the block. Rhodes comes out to Simpson. And Booth wants it at the other end. <laughs> Maryland's blocking shots all over the place. They're really at the ninth. They've really been active with their hands, as well as their feet. Booth, stripped on the way up. Excellent defense by Virginia Williford. It looked like a piece of that one. Burrow, switched hands, put it up on the right, and hit it. Virginia by two. I am so impressed with his demeanor and his control and his poise. I mean, Again, he just looks so relaxed and confident out there. And he's hit 8 out of 11 for 17 points. I would have to say this is the best I have ever seen. Oh, boy, and both misses one point blank on the lob. Well, he went for 26 in the win last year against Maryland. But I would agree with you. The games I've seen, I've not just seen him under as much control right. as he's been. I mean, no four shots, good decisions. Oh. There he is again. He heard us talking about it. 19 for Junior Burrow. The lead grows to four. Hip looking inside. That's Virginia's biggest lead of the night. Four points. Hip a little bit uh, reluctant to take shots right now as he's had such a bad shooting night. Yeah, but you certainly, I know that's easy to get into that mindset, but when you're as capable as him, you've got to continue to look at the hole. JB showing us a strong game thus far, doing it all inside. Larry's afraid of anything new. But Burger King's got this new bacon cheddar double cheeseburger. Two burgers with melted cheddar, sizzling bacon, fries, and a drink, all for $2.99. So he tries it. The next day, he's got his hair parted on the other side. Burger King, get your burgers worth. The all-new Subaru Impreza. 
We didn't just load it with safety features like dual airbags and anti-lock brakes. We loaded it with fun. A spirited new 135 horsepower engine harnessed to the ultimate safety feature. Subaru all-wheel drive. Transferring power automatically from the wheels that slip to the wheels that grip. To help your Subaru stick to the road. And you stick to having a good time. Subaru! Not rageous from Reese's. Peanuts, milk chocolate, caramel, Reese's peanut butter. Nut rageous. Mmm, give your mouth a party. Hi, may I help you? Yeah, I need some shorts to play basketball. Indoor or outdoor? Uh, outdoor. Uh, full court or half court? Half, I guess. Uh, pick up our play. Shirts or skits? Excuse me? Uh, day or night, home or away, team or one on one? Is active wear becoming too specialized for you? Try Discus Athletic, heavyweight sweats and tees. The active wear that's right for however you play. Discus Athletic, the way America plays. Horse or pig. Sellout crowd here at Cole Fieldhouse, 14,500. It's been a long time since they have played a meaningful game in this arena, and this one is, as Maryland tied for first place in the ACC with North Carolina. Virginia only one game back in the loss column. Two losses, third place. Boomer Esiason, a Maryland alumnus, the Jets quarterback, who has been here often throughout his offseason and budding broadcaster, by the way. Did a great job for us this year. And I guess a couple of other entities. A lot of you guys just work for everybody, don't you? <laughs> Whoever's got a checkbook. <laughs> Maryland comes out of the timeout. Smith rebound, lost it on the way up. Still fighting for it, got it again. Foul, it won't go, but he gets the foul. Persistence pays. He works so hard. Jason Williford picks up the foul, his second. Wake continuing to lead NC State and Georgia Tech over Clemson. Tech having to get it done without James Forrest. Joe Smith so far tonight, 15 points, 12 rebounds, four blocks, three steals. Not on there. You know, and coming into the second half, Maryland, whenever tie, had been tied at all, I don't think this year at halftime, but whenever tied or with the lead, have not lost. So let's keep that in mind. Great concentration from that young man. Hits the second and cuts the lead to two. He's in the top five in four ACC offensive categories. And he's 83% from the line versus 71 last year, Mike. That's a heck of an improvement. And that's probably worth two or three additional points a game. Corey Hunter with a runner. Stuff follow won't go. Booth for the rebound. Yuri Barnes up over the rim. Tried to jam it through. Couldn't get it. Simpkins will bring it back out and set it up. Well, I really think X3 Hip is going to have to step up and make some shots for the turn to win this one, Mike. Rhodes with a miss, but the tip is good. Booth got a hand on that. Keith Booth was the biggest recruit for Maryland. Joe Smith not judged to be in that category. And the thing the Maryland people like about Booth is he has never tried to hog the spotlight. He doesn't mind the fact that Joe Smith has become the star. So often when you talk about recruiting excellent players and classes, there's a ripple effect that takes place when you get one key guy. That key guy for Maryland was Booth. 23 seconds on the shot clock. Virginia ball. We're tied at 44. from way outside, buries the three. Harold Dean with eight, he's hit two three-pointers. That is such a demoralizing shot for the opposition, Mike. I know the dunk is one that we show in highlights an awful lot, but in terms of taking it out of the opposition, that three is devastating at times. You can just hear the sigh. Smith. Just knows where he is all the time and is aware of the people on him and where they are. 19 for Joe Smith.
Here's a reach in foul. I think this is going to be on Johnny Rhodes on the double team. Feeling his way around the zone. Smith keeping active, keeping active. The feet are moving. Patience, not rushing anything. Just continuing to go side to side. Then on the catch, knows exactly where he is. No dribble necessary. Just finish the play. Last foul not charged to Rhodes. Instead, to x ray Hip, who picks up his second. Dean covered by Simpson. Tonight, but relatively quiet. So is Corey Alexander. Yes, Simpkins doing a pretty good job. On Lucas with a reach over foul, trying to get to Burrow, and Junior Burrow getting a lot of attention tonight, and deservedly so. Take a look at Junior. He's about 240 and stronger than ammonia. There you see him down there. When he gets you on his back, you can't get around him. That's strong. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, he's strong. I think it's been a well officiated game, Mike. Passing it though. This crew's been rock solid. <laughs> Basket counts and the foul. Rick Hartzell, Steve Gordon, and Stan Rowe are through tonight. They've done a nice job. Mm -hmm. That wasn't too bad about the freshman either. No. Two fouls on Smith. Virginia's lead goes to three, and the freshman Norman Nolan on a Baltimore McDonald's All-American will go to the line. It's a good pass there. I think that was Harold Dean. But see, he led Nolan to the goal, and then on the catch with good patience inside, Nolan able to get the hoop and the foul. Nolan has hit all three of his field goals coming off the bench. The lead three hit back the other way. Did a nice job not to commit the foul there. Low post play, you must be quick, but you don't need to be in a hurry when you catch it. Let's see it, baby. Rhodes on the skip pass, Burrow, good hands on defense. Dean quickly back the other way. Jamal Robinson, number 13, back in the game. This grinded out kind of pace, Mike, favors Virginia. Maryland needs to be able to speed up the tempo, but you do that with defense, or they can get into their pressure after they score. Keep an eye on Staples. He's got hip on him, so it's going to be tough to get a shot face to face. Off balance won't go. Smith with a rebound. 13 boards for Smith. X-ray not, not even looking at the no. goal, Mike. And that could hurt Maryland down the stretch. And he's got to continue to look at the basket. Well, he averages 15 points a game. He's hit, missed all seven shots tonight. But you're right, Clark. You can't pass up the opportunities. It's leave you all alone. Shots have been online. They've been a little long, and he's taken good shots. I think he's only forced one of those seven misses. And when you're getting good looks, you have to continue to stroke it at the goal. Fouls on Yuri Barnes in second. I've never seen a guy who averages 15 points a game that is going to be reluctant to shoot. <laughs> well, he should know by now he can make it. Right. Hip will go out and. Yes, a Cavus just checks in, the young man from Lithuania. Yeah, I know you were anxious to work on your pronunciation. That's the last time I'm saying it, too. <laughs> from now on, he's Sarunas, and that's it. <laughs> Lucas misses the first shot. I got shoot. I got shoot. Check out. Mario, 61% from the line this year. Misses the second one, and he knew it way short. Couldn't get his own rebound. Virginia has the ball on three point lead. Screen from Chris Alexander and dumps it off. Chris could not make the shot. Smith another rebound. 14 boards for Joe Smith. So Lunas, his nickname is the Smith. Lucas with another follow on. Who got it? Smith? Yeah, who else? Joe Smith, 21 points, 14 rebounds. The lead cut the one and the crowd comes to its feet. Dean walks. 
Joe Smith putting on a clinic at Maryland as his Terps have climbed within one. 9.53 to go. The all-wheel drive cars from Subaru. It only takes a moment to appreciate their beauty. A moment like this. Or like this. The very moment it takes Subaru all-wheel drive to instantly transfer power from the wheels that slip to the wheels that grip giving you the traction you need to help you stay out of trouble. Because we believe the best safety feature a car can have is one that can help you stay out of an accident. Dad? Son, it's been a long time, Dad. It's been a long trip, son. How about throwing me a cold one? Just like old times, huh, Dad? Just like the old days. This isn't a Pepsi. I know. I saved nine cents. Unbelievable. Kid saved a lousy nine cents. In matter. five minutes, Eva. Okay. You're ready. You look great. Couldn't do it, actually. Especially after a... That's what I'm here for, huh? A few weeks ago, I was getting Eva ready for her close-up, when I noticed something. Dandruff. So I told her about head and shoulders. Regular shampoos just rinse flakes away so they can come back. Head and shoulders helps prevent flakes from even forming. You see the difference? What, Lizzie? Mark, you look beautiful. Head and shoulders, because great hair can't have flakes. In Providence, Seton Hall is rallying. They've trailed big throughout the game, but Danny Hurley to Lavelle Sanders for the hoop and the foul. A big run have gotten the Pirates back within six in Providence. We'll keep you posted. Back to Cole. 9.53 to go from Cole Fieldhouse in College Park, Virginia, leading Maryland by one. Reminiscent of the old wars that these teams <laughs> used to have. The comparison between Junior Burrow and Joe Smith, you'd take either one right now, wouldn't you? Oh, no question about it, Mike. Both doing yeoman's work. Jerry Williams in his sixth year has won 95 games here, coming back to his alma mater. Had to endure so much with the NCAA penalties that were not of his doing. Now he's got things on track. Does he ever? Maryland with a chance to regain the lead. He said, Gary told me one of the toughest things about game day is people calling for tickets now. <laughs> Lucas hits the jumper. Mario from Memphis, Tennessee puts Maryland on top by one. Virginia very well schooled against the press. Burrow double teamed and fouled by Rhodes. Coming up next Wednesday, you'll see the 13th-ranked Hoyas of Georgetown under John Thompson against the Eagles of Boston College. That's Wednesday, 7 o'clock start. Then back to the ACC, number 14, Lake Forest against Florida State, a team that's really coming off playing much better. we got an outstanding freshman in Corey Lewis. Rose. Sarunas. The shooter drains a three. Maryland leads by four. Sarunas goes for the steal, picks up the foul, his first. There's the pilfer by Johnny Rose. Then the nice find here. Sarunas, all day long, mark it up. Played one year of high school ball in Pennsylvania. Really, he says he would like to be known as a passer and a complete player. But the first thing he took at Midnight Madness was a three. Gary Williams said, you might as well start the legend now. Another loose ball. Saved by the Cavaliers. Knocked away again. And out of bounds to Virginia. Crowd wanted a turnover, they won't get it. People haven't had a lot to cheer about around here in a long time, so we're surrounded by them. Oh, man. And we're hearing it all. They sense blood right now. I didn't get this close to a lot of family members. 
53-49, Virginia with the ball down by four. And this is tight in here as one of our openers. <laughs> Maryland on the seven nothing run. A little inside joke for all of us in broadcasting. Junior, has he been tough tonight? 21 points for Junior Burrow. Only three away from his season's high. I've said it twice already, but his patience in there has just been. Oh, no, no, no. Lucas leans in, may have gotten away with a charge. Great for Maryland. Take a look at Junior, working, working. Hasn't had a lot of touches this half. There he is, ceiling, catch, pump fake, up and under. That is great low post work. Foul at the other end on Junior Burrow, and Lucas will go to the free throw line. You know, you always talk about critical junctures in a game, and so often you hear the first five minutes of the game, first five minutes of the second half. Well, sometimes it works that way, but in a game as closely contested as this, I think this period now is a critical period for, for Virginia. Maryland has some momentum. There's been no real distance between the teams since the start. And if Virginia can just weather this little mini storm, we'll have just what you talked about, one that won't be decided until the last few seconds. Lucas is 0 for 4 from the free throw line, and both of these teams as teams are very good free throw shooters. Yeah, Virginia comes in here in conference play, Mike, at 79% from the strike. Junior Burrow, he has just been a killer inside. 23 points. And Virginia has tied it up again. The fifth time in this half we've been tied. If you're Virginia, you shouldn't go a possession the rest of the way without giving Junior a look. Just let him touch it or at least look in there. Oh, for the left hand. This is one of these games that's so great because the other teams aren't making a mistake. People are scoring with great plays. They're playing great defense. Gary Barnes. Alexander for three. Get a little nasty underneath. The rebound to Lucas. Six forty-five to go in the game. And all this time, Joe Smith is getting a breather for Maryland. Out of bounds out to Virginia. We've got a timeout. 6.35 to go in the game. Maryland by two over Virginia. It's been a great night for Junior Burrow for the Cavaliers. How low can Len Stoller prices go? As low as $1,000 below factory invoice on Len Stoller Fords, Len Stoller Nissans, Len Stoller Chryslers, and Len Stoller Eagles. Hundreds of other 94 and 95 cars and trucks priced below factory invoice. Special financing available even for credit poor buyers. $1,000 below invoice. While they last at Len Stoller, Boeing's Mills, and Westminster. H1 and the Stars are going to rock the Rockies, and we want to take you and a guest with us. Win a trip to vh one Celebrity Ski for Cystic Fibrosis. It's a weekend of music and great winter fun, where you'll chill with the famous and attend an exclusive VH1 concert that's as cool as the great outdoors. Here's where to enter the sweepstakes that could send you skiing with the Stars. It's all courtesy of your cable system and the channel where music comes first, VH1. College hoops, every game counts. <laughs> you lost them all. But you can still make it to the tournament with the ESPN and Pizza Hut March to the Final Four contest. Pick a team and ESPN will fly you to every tournament game they play. If they lose, forget them. You're still going to the Final Four. To enter, hand print your name, address, age, and home phone number on a 3x5 card and mail it to P.O. Box 2387, Redondo Beach, California, 90278. Then, this is the best chance we've had all year. Welcome back to the Junior Burrow Joe Smith Show. They have both been on fire tonight. Maryland leads by two. 
been a struggle for X-ray hip, though. He's missed all seven shots from the floor. And as we pointed out, seems very reluctant to take any right now. There you see what he's done on the season. And he's an excellent player. Oh, he really is, and he's gotten good looks. We've made that point. I think he's still got, if he gets a good look at the basket, a basket by him can really elevate this Maryland squad. Another way to look at it, he certainly is being selfish about it. Dean, dish down the foul as Nolan goes up for the bucket. Well, I tell you what, Norman Nolan has been impressive in his short stints on the floor. Good, strong body, good hands in there. Made a couple of nice plays at both ends. He came in out of shape uh, as a freshman, mm -hmm. had knee surgery this summer after being uh, a star in a McDonald's All-America game. And that's one of the things freshmen have one of the toughest times with not only shot selection, but understanding what kind of shape they have to be in as they get ready for this next level. You can bet Jeff Jones let him know about it, too. Junior Burrow let him know about yeah. it as well. Missed the first. We'll have another opportunity. And the 17 fouls against Maryland here in the second half. Both free throws, no good. Another rebound for Smith. Simpkins talking to his teammate. Booth down low. Looking against Burrow. Inside. One of the best rebounding guards in this conference, certainly Bobby Sura, down at Florida State, excellent on the glass. Rhodes does the same thing, especially offensive rebounding. Seven rebounds to go with his ten points tonight for John Rhodes. Blocked by hit. That's three hit. He's got height advantage to get out on D. Look, oh, you're six eight. You can really shut down some guards. That's right. Dean goes about 6-1. And Dean takes a little time to get into a shot, and it allows the defender to recover, even if he's four or five feet away. Both looking inside for Smith. Can't find him. Shot clock at nine. Hip. Back to Smith with four on his shot. Couldn't hit the leaner. He was really forced into that situation with only four seconds left on the clock. Williford back the other way for Virginia. And it blocked by Smith. Again, he just stood his ground and slapped it down. Bad pass by Simpkins. Corey Alexander gets the steal. Virginia, two on two. Burrow, Jr. has 25, a new season high, and Virginia wants a timeout. A wild sequence that ended in a Virginia basket to cut the lead to two back in a moment. State Farm presents the rules of the game. Screening an opponent is an integral part of basketball. In this play, the offensive player sets a screen while he is still moving. Is this legal? When young policyholders come to me, I look at them and think, boy, that was me 15 years ago. I remember very well how quickly things changed for Debbie and me. Marriage, children, our first house. That's exactly why State Farm's family insurance checkups are such a good idea. Your agent helps you put it all in perspective so you can make the right decisions. The way you were five years ago is not the way you are today. It's comforting to me when I can say to my policyholders, hey, I've been there. State Farm is there. When a player screens an opponent, he must stop before contact occurs. In this play, the screener does not stop before contact. He is still moving. He has committed a foul for an illegal screen. Rules of the Game has been brought to you by State Farm. Like a good neighbor, State Farm is there. Canada, it's a land like no other, with a beer like no other. Molson Ice, ice brewed by North America's oldest brewery to be colder and bolder. Yet smooth as ice. And ice from the land where ice was born. Maryland by two, 443 left to go in the game from College Park. 
Coming up right after our game, the 19th ranked team in the country, Nova against St. John's. It's a 9 o'clock start. Dave Simpson, Dick Vitale, standing by to bring you that game. Coming up uh, right after our telecast between number 5, Maryland, and number 15, Virginia. Mike Patrick, Clark Kellogg with you. Joe Smith, only 21 points, 17 rebounds, 5 block shots. Junior Burrow, 25 points, 8 rebounds. Well, you they, can't get much more no, out of either one of those. You guys. really can't. But I think they've still got some more to give us. Yeah. Their coaches hope so. Huge game for both these clubs. Smith working to get three inside. Really well. Scores and fouls. We talked about trying to keep a body on Joe Smith. They kept one or two on him all night. Hadn't even slowed him down. Not a bit. See, he's active. And then he catches it and doesn't do anything unnecessary with it. It never came back down. When you don't put it down, you don't give the defense a chance to react and make a play on the ball. Catch it and make your move. And then Joe able to get it up now. And he's a lot stronger than he looks. Barnes picks up his third foul. Smith can't complete the three-point play. Spins out on him. But the lead is four for Maryland. Boy, look at Booth and Burrow working inside. They're really going at high speed. Lost it. Good defense by Maryland as Burrow put his head down and put it on the floor. Exactly. Big possession here. Booth. Stripped on the way up. Hip got it back to Smith, and he is clobbered. Well, Yuri Barnes gets his money's worth, doesn't he? No fracture, no foul. No. <laughs> that was just good, tough play. Well, they called the foul. I'm not so right. sure about the fracture. Yeah, yeah. Oh, <laughs> That's well, number four on Yuri Barnes. Gary Williams really gets into it, doesn't he? Check if that's three. And he's looking at the 2020 night. You don't five see, out of seven free throws. You don't see many of those 2020 nights, even at the next level, Mike. Absolutely. Yeah. Gets the roll on the next one, 60-55. It's got to be a great feeling for Joe Smith. His, his short career, he has struggled against Virginia and that physical, tough defense tonight really breaking out. And not only that, but he's coming off a 2 for 10 game yeah. against Duke. Against the team that really banged them around. Most great players have a tough time putting back-to-back -back bad games yeah, together. That's right. Usually, he's only had like two in his freshman year, so you don't expect him to have too many. The lead is six. That's as large as it's been in a while. Corey Alexander only with seven points tonight. Kovarik's on him now. He and Dean have not been a big factor. Alexander goes baseline. Tough shot. Wouldn't fall for him. Willifer, it's blocked by Joe Smith and hit foul by Williford. Well, that was a tough break for Jason Williford. He made a nice move to get in there. Here you take a look at it. That's timing, folks. Still on its way up. Joe has done everything. He is sweet. Half of Maryland's 12 blocks tonight have come from the sophomore. You won't see anybody work any harder either. Hey, you look at him, you're impressed by his stamina. I mean, he's not to show any signs of being tired at all. Doesn't blow. It misses the free throw. That was a one and one. Could have been very big. Lead is six. Maryland's hit only eight out of 15 free throws. Well, they've done it with Joe Smith's work and an excellent offensive rebound. Great defense as they pull a switch there on the double team. Yeah, Johnny Rhodes has done a great job on Harold Davis. Junior Burrow had it hit by Joe Smith. Burrow gets it. Blocked again, but the foul will be on Booth. 
Well, you have to credit Junior Burrow. He is really taking it at guys he knows can block his shot. That's the way you have to deal with shot blockers. You don't want to give them space. That's what they want. But if you go right at their face, now you've got a chance to get yourself to the free throw line. But you have to bring strength and creativity when you go in there against Joe Smith. <laughs> Four fouls on Booth. But we were talking before the game, Junior Burrow, because of his lack of height, has really had to be a guy who double and triple clutch shots, a lot of head fakes in order to score because he's not a perimeter player. Right. The numbers on Junior, 25 and 9, shooting 75% from the floor with guys in his face. In and out. Every possession becomes more and more important here. Down by six. Your three-point guys haven't been able to get shots off because of the defense. Exactly. Good, solid perimeter defense in the second half by Rhodes, Simpkins, and Hip. Virginia only two of nine from the free throw line. Two of the best three free throw shooting teams in the ACC have struggled for Joe Smith. That was his 18th rebound tonight. Hello, 2020. Well, overtime, you may get more than that. <laughs> Pretty good passer, too. Boom. The lead is eight. And Gary Williams in the crowd can smell blood for the first time. They've done all their damage in the paint, Mike. Either offensive rebounds or post up. Maryland scored six in a row. Dean, what a shot in the lane. He just challenged the interior defense. One fifty-two left in the game. All five starters for Maryland can handle a ball. They're tough. To play. I was just going to make that point. You got a guy who plays your power forward. Keith Booth can play inside, but he can go outside as well. Give you another pass. Fourteen on the shot clock. Little follow-up. Virginia with a basketball down by six. Need a bucket here. Great pass to Dean. Foul on the way in. And that's what you want. You want to take it strong to the rack. Try to get yourself to the foul line. Obviously, you need to score with the clock stop. Good look by Alexander. Foul on X-ray. Hip was his third. And Harold Dean goes for the line number two in the ACC. They'll make him think about it. Maryland stops the clock with a minute 24 to go. The Terps up by six. If you think aftershave has to hurt to work, then you're probably getting burned because you sure aren't using one with cooling sensates. Sensitive mold spice. It's more than a great scent. This is real refreshment. Want proof? But your aftershave here. Put sensitive here. If this doesn't take the sting out of aftershave, call 1-800-PROVE-IT and they'll buy you a bottle of yours. Come on, take the sensitive challenge from Old Spice. You're going to feel a whole lot better about aftershave. I do. The Football Hall of Fame. The Pigskin Palace. The House of Helmets. The Shangri-La of Shin Pads. You all set, Mr. Ready to Worship? Yeah. Wait, there's a McDonald's. A cherry the temple of touchdowns awaits. The Epic Soda's 95 cent double cheeseburgers. This is really hot beef. Beef. Melted cheese. You know me and cheese. You love cheese. Right now, McDonald's famous original double cheeseburger and morning fresh sausage McMuffin with egg are only 95 cents each, but only for a limited time, so hurry. They're not going anywhere. Are you kidding? They're made of bronze. Those guys are on scholarship or not, but they're having a good time. Up by six with 124 left in the game. If you join us late, the storyline from Cole Fieldhouse in College Park, Maryland, reads like this. Junior Burrow, 25 points. Virginia shooting 44%. Maryland has blocked 12 shots. And Joe Smith with 25 points and 18 rebounds. They say the great players step up in big games. It's a huge game tonight. Both these guys have stepped up. They really have. They've been five-star from the opening tip. Both Joe, of those guys have been great. Joe Smith is also tied at career high with seven block shots.
Virginia is a team shooting 74.4% on the year, second in the conference. Two out of nine tonight. Harold Dean is their choice to go to the line. He's number two in the ACC. Yeah, he's at 92% in conference play. Ouch. Two out of eight. Those are critical. The numbers on Harold Dean, look at that, 32 out of 35. Made one out of two there. The lead is cut to five, so it's a two-possession game right now. And Maryland will work as much of the clock as it can. You want to play solid D here, try to force a turnover, but you've got to rebound the ball once it goes up if the shot is missed. Maryland has dominated their backboard. They've got a number of second shot attempts. Seven. Corey Alexander, they just let him go. Now, if you're Virginia, you almost have to start thinking about, well, I tell you what, this is, there you go. you got to almost think about trying to come up with a foul here. Oh, you've got to. you got to do it in a hurry. Do they get the steal instead? Dean back the other way, two on two. Oh, my. A lot of contact, no whistle. He gets the bucket. Jeff Jones wants a timeout. Booth trying to draw the charge and thought he got it. The lead has been cut to three. Holy cow. Boy, Jones wanted one plus on that. I don't know. Jeff uh, Jeff may want to rethink that if he gets, if he had the chance to get another look at it. He, his kid may have played with one. Of course, that's, that's coaches. Coaches want every opportunity they can get. 39.8 left. Back in a moment. Hi, may I help you? Yeah, I need some shorts to play basketball. Indoor or outdoor? Uh, outdoor. Uh, full court or half court? Half, I guess. Uh, pick up our plan. Shirts or skins? Excuse me? Uh, day or night, home or away, team or one-on-one? -on -one. Is activewear becoming too specialized for you? Try Discus Athletic. Heavyweight sweats and tees. The activewear that's right for however you play. Discus Athletic. The way America plays. Horse or pig? And remember, you're playing for Bud Light, ladies. The boys are back in town. <laughs> These guys are good. Who are you calling guys? Yeah. Looks like you're in the finals. Ma'am, for the great taste that won't fill you up and never let you down, make it a Bud Light. You're the defending ladies pool champion? Yes, I am. At the Mullen Center, number one UMass trailing St. Joe's by three, and Marcus Camby has left the game with a leg injury. We'll update it and keep you posted on that ball game between games. We're back now to Maryland. It's only a three-point game. We're going to take a look at Harold Dean. Good defense here at the Pilfer, and at the end of it, the production. You make the call. Is Booth in position? Should there have been a foul? Contact, certainly Booth wasn't there. Probably a good no call, but Jeff Jones certainly wanted the basket plus one. My apologies to Jeff Jones. I thought he had a better argument than not after looking at the replay. Here's the situation. Maryland with two timeouts, Virginia with one. The foul situation, 39 seconds to go. It is a three-point lead. You almost have to think about foul. The difference between game and shot clock, only about four or five. Yeah, it's not enough. You exactly, go exactly. Dean will foul Simpkins. I've heard people say, well, you can let him go for a while. What if they hit a basket with two seconds right. on the shot clock? Exactly. It's over. No, you're right. And considering how both teams have struggled from the free throw line, I'd be willing to send anybody exactly. there. Exactly. Send them to the stripe and let's see what happens. That basket gets a little smaller late in the game. But the problem is Simpkins happens to be the number one free throw shooter in the SEC. That hasn't worked for anybody else tonight. Ah. <laughs> Maryland third is the team. Simpkins hits the first. That's a huge one because it's a four-point game. Simpkins hitting 85.3%. A consensus All-American at DeMatha. Needs only nine assists to become number nine all-time. Makes them both. Five-point lead. Virginia is going to need a couple of threes. And 
Jeff Jones wants to talk about it with 27 seconds to go in the game. We'll be back to Cole Fieldhouse. Two top 20 teams battling it out after this. The all-new Subaru Impreza. We didn't just load it with safety features like dual airbags and anti-lock brakes. We loaded it with fun. A spirited new 135 horsepower engine harnessed to the ultimate safety feature. Subaru all-wheel drive. Transferring power automatically from the wheels that slip to the wheels that grip. To help your Subaru stick to the road and you stick to having a good time. Subaru. There's a place near you where the mountain climbers never touch the ground. Where the bodies are made of iron and the bikes of titanium alloy. It's Performance Bicycle Shop with over 6,000 square feet of high-tech cycling gear. But if you go, bring a stump jumping spirit and your visa card. Because at Performance, they take cycling to the extreme, but they don't take American Express. Visa, it's everywhere you want to be. The exceptional Joe Smith has led Maryland to a five-point lead here tonight over Virginia with 27 seconds to go in the game. Smith, 25 points, 18 rebounds, seven block shots. The seven blocks tie his career high. And Junior Burrow has been just as tough at the other end with what his role is supposed to be with this club. 25 points, nine rebounds. Boy, those two guys have hogged the spotlight, but I really think Dwayne Simpkins has had a pretty solid floor game for Maryland. Just made the two big free throws, big penetrating basket. Virginia desperate for threes. Dean had a foot on the line. Joe Smith with another rebound and foul. 19 boards for Joe Smith. Virginia came in here. You have to know how optimistic they were, the same way they were going to North Carolina. Jeff Jones said it was the first time in his career he had ever had more players than Carolina. Yeah. And yet he went in there and lost. And it appears he is going to lose this one here tonight and fall two games off the pace in the ACC. Well, he'll look at this one. Obviously, his perimeter guys didn't shoot the three as well as they normally do, but I think the game has been decided in the paint area. Strong rebounding by Maryland, and this guy here has been beyond excellent. Right now, it's a five point lead at six. One more would make it a three possession game, and you can turn out the lights. Villanova and St. John's coming up after this. 26 points, 19 rebounds for the man with a throwback name and the laid back game. 69 62. The fifth ranked team in the nation is going to win its 17th. Joe Smith with another rebound. That's 20. Hello, 2020. And he knew it, too. I know Dick Vitale has screamed and hollered about Sean Respert as player of the year. Joe Smith belongs in that same breath. He's got to be in there somewhere. <laughs> no question. You know, when you start picking players of the year in All-American teams and even All-Conference teams, you're always leaving guys exactly. off. Exactly. Such great players. There's, I hate to do yeah, that. Yeah, it's tough, especially if you don't have a list in front of you. But based on this performance, and it's hard to fight the back. <laughs> Look at this. You can fight the funk, but you can't fight the back. And there's not an in this kid. Just brings a lunch pail, goes to work, and if you're on the other team, he breaks your heart. 10 out of 12 free throws. Any crack in his game, why he would not succeed. In the next level. No, he's only going to get stronger and better. His demeanor, his work ethic, those are the intangibles you look at. The on-the-floor stuff is ready to go. Corey Alexander ribs out. 21 rebound. Ahead the boot. No basket, but it doesn't matter. Maryland runs its ACC record to 7-1. Virginia will fall to 5-3. The fifth ranking in the nation, the highest since Maryland has been since the 10th week of the 83-84 season.
season, and it may be going up from here. A remarkable performance for Maryland. The Terps win by nine. For Clark Kellogg, this is Mike Patrick. Let's go back to the studio. Chris Fowler and Digger Phelps. Guys? Guys, we go from the ACC to the Big East. Coming up in just a couple of minutes from Madison Square Garden, Naismith Award nominee Kerry Kittles and Villanova minus their point guard tonight, Jonathan Haynes, to get on the Red Storm. You talked at halftime about an adjustment that Gary Williams should make. He did make it, and, and Joe Smith, he needs no adjustment in his game. Joe Smith doesn't need any adjustment. Gary Williams had great respect for Virginia's guards, so he didn't go full court press to start the game. He waited. Second half, went to the half court traps. Maryland got more aggressive. They knocked him out. They now have a half game lead over eight over Carolina in the ACC. The big showdown at Cole. Next Tuesday, I think there'll be some excitement down there for the ball bit, game. A little bit. In the ACC this evening, Virginia and uh, having lost Wake Forest 55-47, leading NC State 5:15 to play in that ball game, and Georgia Tech has opened it up over Clemson 57-40 as the Jackets try to go to. Who weathers the storm? At nine, back on ESPN, the number 23. Heirs of greatness for North Carolina. Meanwhile, there is legendary promise for Maryland. The number five Terps facing off against number seven North Carolina. An ACC double dip tonight. Duke is 15 and 1 this season. They are perfect in conference play, blowing away ACC foes with regularity. Tonight, the Demon Deacons will go for the upset of the number two team in the nation. Hope you're having a good evening, everybody. Larry Beal in the studio. My pleasure to welcome in the former college and NBA star, Brad Darty. I'll tell you one thing, folks. The ESPN company hoop team just got a whole lot better. We got some size in the middle now. Let's talk about Duke. I know you're a Carolina guy at heart, but. Duke really looks unbeatable these days. What does Wake have to do tonight? Wake's going to have to do a very good job in their offense of taking care of the basketball, getting points out of their offense. Duke has the potential to go and run you know, a fast break basketball or to come down and post it up. So what Wake has to do is take care of the basketball on the half court set, use those big guys, try to get Brand off the block, and when they go to the offensive end, shove it inside, try to get fouls and get to the free throw line. Easier said than done, Much however. Easier. Much easier. At the half, Brad will have his thoughts on his former college teammate and rival in the NBA, Michael Jordan, with his big retirement announcement today and a warning for those in Cleveland. We may have to break out a few clips from the Craig Elo personal nightmare collection. We'll take a look. We'll find you in the middle there waiting for some rebounds. Speaking of nightmares, Robert O'Kelly is hoping it won't turn out to be that way tonight. For the Demon Deacons, Duke and Wake Forest coming up. Mike Patrick and Len Elmore will have the